Hey what's up guys, in today's video I wanted to go over all of the responders, outfits, weapon skins, power armor paints, and camp items currently available to us in Fallout 76 like I have previous factions. Keep in mind these are all the items that show the responders faction logo or colors, so if something that was recently provided in the bundles or exist isn't displayed here, it's because it doesn't really have any responders branding attached to it visually. The responders seem to be another popular faction among the community, so it was only right I'd do a video for them like I did the BOS and Enclave. With that being said, let's get into it. Here we have the first ever responders outfit you receive while playing, which is the responders paramedic jumpsuit. It's a navy blue jumpsuit with the responders logo above the left pocket. It has a band of red and white stripes on both arms near the elbow, as well as the symbol of the paramedic on both upper arms. On the back is the word paramedic with a large responders logo. It is earned as a quest reward for completing first contact. This next one is a rare one. The responders fireman outfit can be awarded to you from the quest Final Departure, the event Fly Swatter, or awarded from event slash dailies in the forest or toxic valley regions. It is a highly sought after set and is a valuable trade. Here is the responders police uniform. The uniform consists of a blue shirt with red pocket flaps and red shoulder straps, a black tie and badge, black pants with red stripes, and a black and white belt. The shirt also sports a responders logo on the right shoulder and a US flag on the left. The outfit and hat can be obtained by completing the quest final departure at Morgantown Airport, or it can also be a reward from completing the back on beat event quest. This is the fire breather uniform. The Fire Breather uniform was issued by the responders to members of its Fire Breathers division. The uniform consists of a dark red pre-war Charleston Fire Department uniform, with a responders emblem attached to the right sleeve. The helmet is a full-face respirator worn beneath a traditional fireman's helmet. The player receives this and a Fire Breather helmet during the quest Into the Fire. That concludes all of the free responder outfits. Now let's cover the recently added Atomic Shop content. First is the Responders Fire Chief outfit and Responders cap. The outfit also has an Under Armour variant in case you wanted to show off your armor pieces but still have some of that Responders flair. It proudly shows off the Responders insignia on the chest and center of the hat. Sadly, I didn't buy any of the eye patches, so here is an image of the Responders eye patch that came out in a bundle a while back. Nothing super amazing, but if you want to represent in every way possible, having a responders logo covering one eye is def the way to do it. I mean, you have that, so I guess you don't really need depth perception? This is the responders power armor skin. It has the responders insignia outlined in a nice gold color, making it pop against the navy blue, red, and white color scheme most responders outfits have as well as two lights that illuminate while you wear it, shining bright when exploring in darker areas of Appalachia. This one for sure had a lot of people hyped when it was first data mined, and it definitely didn't disappoint. As far as weapon paints go, there has been a pack for the pump action shotgun. Depending on what grip you use, it may come out blue, red, or both like the one displayed here. I also noticed the words fire breather printed on the side of the shotgun which is a nice little detail. You also have the insignia right above the trigger and stock depending which one you go for. No bundle would be complete without a Pip-Boy paint to accompany it. This is the responders Pip-Boy paint, sporting a vibrant color scheme of red, white, and blue. On to one of my favorite items from the bundle, the responders rescue backpack. It's a nice vibrant red backpack skin displaying both the fire breathers and responders insignia on the side. Definitely one of the cooler backpack skins to release so far. Lastly, let's talk responder themed camp items. With the release of the responders bundle, we have a few new paints for our workbenches as well as some items to help decorate and represent. Here we have the power armor station in the responders paint, followed by the weapons workbench and the armor workbench. We also get this nice little piece of wall decor titled the Crossed Axes Decoration. This will probably be the closest some of you will get to that white responders fireman helmet. <laughs> Sorry. 
To accompany that piece in the wall decor category, we also have the responders plywood signs, similar to those you may see at Flatwoods or Morgantown Airport. Here I display both variations of the signs. We also get three new flag variations to represent the responders faction. A white variant, a fire breathers variant, and a blue variant to place outside of your camp. And for our last item, we have the Responders themed stash box, in the iconic colorway with a nice big insignia on the top. That wraps up this video. The Responders is definitely in my top 5 favorite factions of Fallout, so it was nice to see them finally get some love. Who knows if anything else related to the faction will come in the near future. It's unfortunate that the majority of the items had to be purchased from the Atomic Shop, but that's why I make data mine videos so you guys can save your atoms and most importantly some of your money for when something you do enjoy releases. So be sure to check those out. Hopefully all factions and sub-factions get a dedicated bundle soon. Let me know in the comments below what faction you'd like to see me cover next. If you found this video to be enjoyable or informative in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time, stay safe, and I'll catch you in Wastelanders.